Dive deep into the annals of baseball and discover the heart that beats in places often forgotten. Join us in the golden age of the Negro Leagues as we spotlight the Indianapolis clouds. These leagues were vibrant, with over 50 teams crafting stories of legend and legacy. Before integration, African-American players ignited the fields of their own leagues, their passion burning bright despite segregation. Among them stood Goose Tatum, dazzling in baseball and later, with the Globetrotters in basketball. His shadow ball routine was simply mesmerizing, a dance of deception that left spectators in awe. Richard King Tut King graced the Indianapolis clowns with his presence for more than two decades, captivating audiences with his versatility. Whether he was engaging in shadow ball antics, juggling with ease, or showcasing his exceptionally large first basemanman. King Tut's performance was so enthralling that spectators often found it challenging to focus on both him and the ongoing game simultaneously. Rumors even swirled that he danced in grass hula skirts, adding a unique flair to his repertoire. King's antics set the stage for future baseball entertainers making him a pioneering figure similar to the likes of Max Batkin, known for their comedic genius on the baseball field. Did you know they played an entire inning in slow motion or tricked opponents with rubber balls? It was baseball like never before. The clowns boasted a galaxy of stars. King Tot with his ball handling magic, Sam Harrison's prowess, and a young prodigy named Hank Aaron was destined for greatness. In 1952, the Clowns welcomed a promising infielder, Henry Aaron, onto their team with a monthly salary of $200. Known later as the Home Run King, Aaron spent three months with the Clowns, batting cleanup and mastering shortstop before his contract was purchased for $10,000 by the Boston Braves. Tatum and the Clowns faced off against the legendary Kansas City Monarchs at Cincinnati's Crossley Field during a September 8, 1946 doubleheader. Tatum, of course, is more famous now as a Harlem Globetrotter star. In a display of sheer dominance, the Kansas City Monarchs, who were already on their way to the World Series against the Newark Eagles, showcased their unmatched prowess on a historic day against the Indianapolis Clowns. The Monarchs didn't just win. They decisively swept the series with overwhelming victories of 15-5 and 8-5, turning the field into a showcase of their offensive power by hitting nine home runs across both games. Among the heroes of the day, Hank Thompson stood out with an extraordinary performance, hitting four home runs and leaving fans in awe with his display of strength and precision. Not far behind, Willard Brown made his own mark by contributing three home runs, including one legendary shot that soared clear out of the stadium cementing his place in baseball lore. The franchise, originally known as the Miami Giants, transformed into the Ethiopian Clowns and settled in Indianapolis from 1946 to 1950, competing in the Negro American League. Due to financial considerations, 
Indianapolis and Cincinnati alternately hosted the Clowns franchise in various years. Nineteen forty seven heralded a new era. Jackie Robinson's entry into the major league signaled change. The clowns, however, remained a beacon of the game's joy and spirit. Integration was a monumental shift. The Negro Leagues and their legacy, though, would forever be imprinted on the heart of baseball. The Clowns franchise continued on into the 1950s and 1960s, but was not a high-quality ball club during these later years after the Major League's color line had been eradicated. The Clowns were also the first baseball team to hire a woman to play competitively. Tony Stone played second base for the Clowns in 1953, hitting 243 before her contract was sold to the Kansas City Monarchs. The 1976 movie Bingo Long Travel and All Stars and Motor Kings starred the legends Richard Pryor, James Earl Jones, and Billy D. Williams. The movie was based on the clown's barnstorming days. This footage captures candid moments and antics, but off camera, the monarchs dominated leaving their indelible mark on the game. The Indianapolis Clowns, a testament to resilience, talent, and the essence of baseball. Their story, an ever-burning torch, continues to inspire.